today we're going to be doing something a little different in the pool but actually something i've filmed before and that is steam powered toy boats so we have ones like this here but more importantly we have really cool ones like this now i've done a video on this before but it was kind of just a quick little video no information about it uh, I'm gonna do a little information about it today and show you how it works okay so what you're looking at here is a retro model of a classic steamship toy I call it retro because being purchased in 2002 it's not vintage um, but it is styled after toys that were much earlier in the 20th century and um, they are made of tin and they have functioning boilers inside and what you do is as you can see here there's pipes here you have to fill these pipes with water and then you take a candle slide it under the boiler and you kind of put it inside there lit it heats up the water and produces steam which will push air and water out of the back so there's like a little bit of a combustion in there and um, propels the boat now I have another one here and this one is a speedboat design and it functions the same way um, boiler you put the candle in and it pushes it along um, this one works a little better than that one uh, but both you're kind of at the mercy of how the rudder is set and really the waves, I mean, they don't run that well, but they do function like a real steamship. And because we're doing a Titanic video here, um, we of course need a styrofoam iceberg. So let's place that in the pool and we'll see how it works. See if our steamship can hit it. Okay, so we have this here. What we're going to do is we are going to suck water in from the pool. And we are going to put it into the pipes. Now when it comes out of the other pipe, because there are two pipes, then we know the boiler is full and the water is ready. Oh, and it comes out. Okay, so we are good. So we are now going to place the steamship we're gonna put our Titanic here in the pool. Okay, now I'm going to take this here, light it, and put it in the back of the ship under here like so, under the boiler. Okay, now this is not the one that originally came with the Titanic. This came with the other ship, but this is easier to use. So we are going to put that in here like so. Okay, she started up. Now the putt putt sound will change when it starts to get going. It's still kind of warming up. Okay, it is starting to work. Just barely though. There's our iceberg. All right, we're gonna move the flame a little closer to the boiler, get more pressure going. Just be careful when you touch these, these boats can get very hot. Okay, let's see here. I can feel the pressure coming out, so. Oh, here we go. Now she's starting to pick up speed. And you hear that motor change, that sound change? Now she's purring.
Let's find that iceberg. And Titanic avoids it. Now with the speedboat here, it's a lot smaller, a lot less tin to push around in the pool. And the boilers are pretty much about the same size. In fact, the pipes in the Titanic, it's a longer distance to travel out to the stern for all that pressure to get out to push the boat. So you can see that the Titanic moves a little slower than uh, the speedboat would. Uh, but, you know, if the Titanic really does get moving, uh, it can outperform this boat, just didn't do so for the video. Another point about the speedboat is, like I said, these ships do get hot to the touch. The speedboat, because it's smaller than the Titanic, gets really, really hot uh, because it's pretty much just the boiler and the flame underneath. So be careful if you have this one. Let's take another look at Titanic now, just see if we can get a few more chances at that iceberg. Okay, so here's one last look at our Titanic. Uh, this is with a clear pool and no waves. As you can see, it is struggling to move, but it is moving. The thing to keep in mind with these toy ships is they're more of a novelty than um, anything. So the fun is in lighting the boiler and trying to get them to go. But as you can see, they don't go very well, uh, but they are still neat. Um, if you ever find one, I recommend picking one up and just giving it a try. So there you have it. Those are my vintage steam powered tin toy ships. Uh, you know, the fun, like I said, is in getting them to operate, not so much the operation of it. Um, they do work a little bit better if you do give them a nudge. The steam isn't powerful enough to get them going at a nice, steady, strong pace. But if you give them a push, the steam can kind of, you know, the pressure that comes out of the, uh, the back can kind of keep it moving at that pace somewhat. So, you know, it's kind of like hit or miss with these, but they are neat. So, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.